Hello, this is Max Drake. I was talking about this program uh, as far as this is the wired program through here, and I'm talking about taking information from uh, a spreadsheet and it maps the information across. Now, there's a tutorial on that, and uh, there'll be a link in the first um, uh, video, and I might actually give the same data of the link through here. You can also download this program. It's a program. You can download it to your PC, or else you can actually use it in the browser. Um, I haven't used it in the browser thing. The, now, this particular video, I want to talk about um, uh, exporting and consuming the information. So if we go back into the program again, once we've actually got what we want here, um, I'm still in the XLS format here because I want to continue the story. What I can actually do is that I can export. Now I can export this information in a variety of ways. I can export it as a bitmap, um, GIF, JPEG, um, a PNG, SVG image files. Or I can export it as a, a JPEG file, or I can export it as an HTML image. And they've got some quite nice little things that you can do with this HTML image. So if I just click on here and go HTML image, we can go save. Now this is just going to save this one here. Now the first thing you can do is that you can have the original size or you can make a custom width and a custom height for the actual image size. Um, if, you, if you end up with a very big thing and you actually want to modify your tiling, you can have three tiles across and two tiles up or something like that to make the images a bit tighter. You can actually have um, fixed HTML here so that you can have your header and your tab as um, A, B, C. One, two, three, of course. Um, and then it's got a bit of um, uh, uh, CSS in there, and then it's calling through a diagram. So if I just go, um, OK, <coughs> through here, and then it's just saying, what's the image format that you actually want, a PNG or, or whatever? So that's what you're doing. And then it's got a scaling factor. So I just explained the scaling factor here. <clears throat> is here's some of the early ones that I actually did. When I actually did the image through here, it pops up and it comes up. I think this was doubly scaled through there. And you can see this has got this image map through here. If I go and click on another one through here, um, unfortunately, I did have a preview, but updating thing has gone and done something weird. Get on with it. Go and open. So this one here comes up. You see how it sneaks to the side through here. Now, a lot of times you may actually want to set your um, width, uh, your, your margins across the thing, and you may want to do something there. And it's just basically the thing. But if you hover over, you see it's telling you a bit of information through there. So let's just flick into an HTML file. So this is one of the HTML. This is for one for number three. And if we go into there at the beginning, it just says image map created by. So you can see that blurb up the top there. And I can actually change that to... Um, C, 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 C. And if I go and save that and then reopen it, then it'll come through and do that sort of thing. There's a bit of HTML, uh, sorry, a bit of CSS up the top there doing a bit of stuff through there. Then it's actually got some JavaScript doing some stuff. And basically what it does is it calls up an image. Now, these are the hover points. When we were on these, you can see these coups and the CEFs and things like that. This is the tooltip one. Now, they're saying if you're on that image in this particular area, that's what you'll see. That's what pops up when I'm over there. It's going to do that. When I'm popped up over there, it's going to do that. So it's actually basically on those nodes. So I've got some information through there. But what we can actually do is that we can put a URL or a link or a link to a file or something like that. So we can do these references that I was talking about before. So that's quite cool. So how do we do that? Inside... Um, the program. So that's when we actually create the image and we save the style. So that's where we can do this scaling factor through here. So it takes a bit more room on our um, thing. So we can actually just go OK on this one here. I can't remember what I called that one. Um, and uh, it's most probably 9 or something like that or 9A or whatever it was before. And if we open up on that. Now, um, what we can do now. Now, if you just try, um, now let's just go back to the spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, I just put a URL through here. And then I put a descriptor through here. And the descriptor is basically, I'm calling this um, a cell. And then I'm just putting and uh, biodata. 
And so this is the tool tip that we actually want to come up. So we want that one through there and we want to bring that all the way down to there and we want to go save through there. So we want to bring that URL. Now we've created one through here and I'm just going to fudge it and just going to call it URL X just so that we can differentiate. So when we actually come into our um, thing through here, I'm just going to grab all of this and we're going to just go and update it. So the format is just going to go completely to wonk and we don't really mind about that. So we're just going to go for the org chart update there. This file is already loaded. You want to reload it again. And we've got all of those mappings through there. That's fine. And we'll go OK. So it's remapped all of those. So sorry, it's re-brought in all of those data. So if I go and click on that data, you'll see I've got that data through there. And you'll see it's got the URL one, and I've got one called description, so we Z uh, biodata through there. So that's fine as well. So if I now go and select all of those, and I just go and do my um, uh, properties mapper, I can add some mapping stuff. Now, the first thing that I can do is, you see here there's description and URL. Now, the description pertains to this object here. And the URL, I don't think I've got it on that one, um, will link that through. So I can link, when you hover over and click on that particular object, it'll take you to a URL or to a file or something like that. So I've got to map my URL X to this URL, and I've got to map that cell description across to this description. So that's what I've got to do here. So on this one here, I've got the role, which I'm mapping to label text one. I've got the name, which I'm mapping to label text two. And I've got department, which I'm mapping to label text three. Now I'm going to map descent across to tooltip. Tooltip is that one, this description. It's called tooltip in here. It's a bit confusing, I think. So I want to add another label. Um, which I want to map URL X, my URL, across to their URL and go apply and go OK. Whoa! Something wacky has happened there. Doesn't really matter. What you see here is you see the URL has actually mapped across to there. Um, I'm just going to go there. Just do it, doesn't actually let you do that. You can't seem to do an undo or oh, edit, undo. So here we are. So we zoom back into there again. Something slightly weird happened there. And uh, if we just go back into that edit and go to the property mapper, we've got descent and we've got the URL and we've got the label and the label. And the department's going to the wrong one. The department should be going to label text and it's label text number three. That's why it's got confused because that didn't work. Apply. OK. Now, if I go and touch on one of those, you see I've got the description is Fred Fisher Biodata and I've got that. So now let's just tart it up a bit. Um, uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go and grab everything through there apart from that one there, and we're going to go and uh, stretch them. We're going to change the layout and just tidy that up there. Um, whatever my presets are there, I haven't bothered doing. We're going to go through the bottom ones there. We're going to go right hand click on that and go apply. We're going to go those ones through there, and we're going to go right hand click on that and apply. So now we've got it roughly where we need it to be. So now we are going to um, go file. We are going to go export. And we are going to export to um, an HTTPS and we're going to call it number um, 9Z just for the sheer hell of it. And we're going to go save. And uh, we are now going to scale it by 2 just for the hell of it here. And we've got the margin width of 15 and um, the region is complete diagram. And we go OK. So now that's now exported. Now if we go into there and um, uh, we go and find that file there, we're going to go and find, I might have to do an F5 on that one, 9Z, there we are. There's our image. Now when I hover over those, and if I click on that, I'm 
Oh, it's not doing it. Why isn't that doing it? That one's doing it. And why is that biodata updating but not the other ones? That's interesting as well. But the principle's there. So it's going and calling that URL, which is just a YouTube video. And <laughs> it's not going to let me kill it. <laughs> uh, so that is... Um, uh, you see they're still coming through with the original so for some unknown reason that one's actually going through and giving me my stuff so if we just go into that particular file and um, just do uh, edit with notepad plus plus we'll see here there's Zozo data and that's going to that information through there so it's saying go and look at that now I'm not too sure why that um, on that update through there if we go edit property mapper apply okay now they've all got them you can see all of them actually have those so I don't know why they actually occurred like that so if I just go oh now I wonder Yes, now look at that. That's actually disappeared. So in fact, that doesn't work. We've actually got to go back through there. We've actually got to go and select them. We're going to have to change them through there, which is a little bit of a shame. So that's what's actually happening. It's blowing that data away um, at that point. So that's a little bit scary. So, oh, I don't like them the same color. They look a bit boring. I want to show different levels of hierarchy. Um, if we just make that blue so there we are there so let's just try and do that again we'll do an export through there just on the off chance and we'll make it that one there and we go save yes it's just doing now that two was a bit big so we're going to go to 1.2 as a scaling thing and go through to that we can then just go into that um, uh, one there and we can just go refresh through there now if I hover it's hovering over every person and just suddenly saying there's their bar data or there's their whatever and that can actually just go to a URL or it can go to a file or it can go to a certain other space which will actually do it so that I think is marvelous so all I then need to do is from the point of view of I can now embed that in a web page and the only thing that I need to embed that in the web page is just um, uh, where's that gone I've gone and blown it away haven't I um, yeah what are you doing um, uh, I need to go and now all I need to do is copy the HTML file and also the image that goes with it so it needs those two things to actually work so I hope that's been of interest to you Thank you very much for watching. If you've found that it's been useful for you, can you please give a thumbs up? Thank you very much.